As you can tell right now, we're taking a look at the Oscar winner, uh, Moonlight. And, first of all, I want to get this out of the way. Apologies for the deep voice and all, and stuff and whatnot. Um, I'm trying to overcome a cold that I recently came off with this week that I went to last week at Amon City Comic Con when I attended it Saturday. But I'm trying to figure out whether or not I got it from a family member or I got in con crud. But it could be the latter. But ladders aside, let's talk about the Oscar winner. And that movie is Moonlight. So, Moonlight is based upon the unpublished play by McCraney. Based on an unpublished play called In Moonlight Black Boys Look Blue by uh, Terrell Allen McCarney. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that name right. And basically what the story is is that it focuses on this one guy's life as it transitions from his childhood to his teenage years and then his years as an adult. There are three acts to this movie. One called Little, the other one called Cronin, Crinan, I'm gonna guess Crinan, and the third act, Black. Literally, it's called Black to take a look at it. In the film, we have our main character obviously trying to grow up. So we have our main character who finds this drug dealer called Juan, as he obviously you know, hangs out with the guy and obviously teaches him a thing or two about his life and how to... teaches a thing or two of his life. And seeing how he lives with a mother who is on drugs and all that, it's suddenly like something that the Colombian drug lord wants to... It's then on that the Colombian drug dealer wants to make sure that he's on the right path and not on the path of being a drug addict. So obviously he follows that way and of course that obviously ends Act 1 which then leads into Act 2 of the movie. Which, in his teenage years, which in his teenage years, he's obviously the one who gets picked on by bullies. He's trying to make sure that he doesn't run into this guy or get his rear end kicked. Yeah, I have to make sure this is appropriate, so can't really curse much on here, can I? <coughs> So obviously he So obviously he winds up, you know, going off to avoid bullying and try to make sure that he lives a regular average life. But it ain't easy especially when her mother is addicted to crack and prostitutes herself for money. It's hard subject, and it's something that's very hard to talk about, especially in this day and age. It's probably common, especially in their era, and probably in ours, but... Jeez, I, I can't believe this actually does happen. It, it's sinister, it's dark, and talking about drugs is... It's just so wrong. So, obviously, he tries to make sure that he 
lives a fine life, obviously making sure that his almost worn out, drug addicted mother is taking care of herself. And that is going on. That he obviously has to find a way to obviously finish off the bullies. The school obviously offers to tell him the name. The school obviously offers to tell him the names and urges him to reveal the identities of his attackers. Unfortunately, he refuses, which is a very wrong answer, especially if you're in that type of situation, because you shouldn't take matters into your own hands, which is, of course, what our main character does, as especially he winds up hitting him with a chair and obviously beating him and getting arrested for it. I know we're trying to prevent anti-bullying things, but it's so hard, especially since we've got... You know who. But bullying is a very serious subject, and I don't want to talk about it any further, and especially, you know for a fact, I don't like this topic being in films. But except when it's done properly, that's when it deserves to be done right. So with that in mind, it ends Act 2 as we head into Act 3, Black. And I'm probably going to stop there, because Act 3, obviously, he, this act, I don't know, this was the turning point for me. Obviously, the other two acts were fine. They were good. They were strong. They had something going for it. But this act, it just went on and on and on. Jeez. And I felt like one moment that the movie could have ended, it just kept on continuing. It dragged on much longer than expected it to. It's a boring movie, at least in the third act. Obviously, when they're trying to do talk in the diner and whatnot, they're trying to pull off some sort of Quentin Tarantino-style diner set, and they're obviously trying to pull off some Quentin Tarantino-style like scene or whatever, but it fails in the process. Pulp Fiction, it is not. And then, to make matters worse, like I said, the movie could have ended it right as they drove off and whatnot, or at least when they drove into Kevin's home, when they drove off into the highway. That movie could have ended there. It kept on continuing. Well, how about in the home? No, it still kept continuing for that one more shot. I'm like, God, when is this going to end? I'm like, yeah, I, this isn't really the best picture movie for me. If you... This probably could be the first unpopular opinion I have thus far, but Moonlight... In the first two acts, they run perfectly fine, but for the other, but for the final third act, that's where it falls flat for me. And it's wondering because of the fact, but personally, despite it being a independently funded movie, the budget was one point five million dollars. <coughs> the film, it just falls in the final act, as I said before. I like everything about it. It's well acted. It's well written. 
and especially some of the angles are well good. And I could probably somewhat put it up there right next to Dope as a really fantastic movie for that era. And pretty much all the critical praises that it's been given, heck, it's been, like, so far getting a 97% on Rotten Tomatoes. That's fantastic for the movie. And everybody's been, like, putting it as number one in their top ten list. But for me... I don't think this will be a movie I will be revisiting anytime soon. Maybe if I'm bored, I might see it. But not really the time or place or right now really that I can say Moonlight is worth watching or worth buying on Blu-ray. No, 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 no. <sighs> A lot of you are going to hate me for this, but... Despite it being a good film, I just don't like the final and third act, and especially the final parts of the movie. So, obviously, Moonlight is a good time, no alcohol required. So, I guess this will be the first time that all of you will probably be charging for me, and obviously heading for the door. So, if you'll excuse me, I will be heading out of here right now. But with that in mind, Moonlight, have you seen it? What did you think about it? Or what is your favorite movie? Or basically, what is the movie that you personally think is your favorite of all time? Whatever your thoughts are, comment below and let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click on the channel name if you want to see more. And as always, I'm the Ferb Guy, and I'll see you guys for the next movie. Bye.